Hey what's going on guys, today I want to take a look at the USS Quincy by Alex Raymond. This really unique play of home is based off the USS Constitution and is located just to the south of the wreck of the Northern Star. It's currently being used as a Minuteman outpost and it comes with its very own crew of guards, traders and workers. But when you arrive for the first time, you'll find out the Minuteman inside aren't doing too good. There's a pirate gang on the top deck who's trying to break their way inside and call throwing. The pirate crew is led by the main boss named Barbosa, who's armed to the teeth with a rocket launcher and a full set of power armor. So before you can claim this ship, you're going to have to take care of Barbosa. I really like this mod and included this mini battle, because while there's no quest involved in retaking the ship, it does feel like you earned it, and it adds a personality before you even get inside. Once everyone's dead, there's a few things to check out on the outside before you jump down the hatch. On the main deck you find a few crops to harvest, an armor workbench tucked on the rear of the ship, and a small cabin with a bed. Up in the rigging you'll find 5 windmills, which apply all the power to the lower decks, along with 3 crow's nests that can be accessed by the ladders on each of the sails. There's ladders here to go up and down, and once you're up top, you get a nice view of the area. While you will need the key from the captain's quarters to open the duffel bag, the mod author included 3 unique weapons, and the first one is a sniper rifle. Lastly on the top deck, you'll find the new junk fender. I killed her by accident whenever you took the ship, so if you do the same, just wait a week and she'll respawn. Once you're done exploring the outside, to get into the ship, just open up the main hatch, located right next to the crops. Once you're inside on the first deck, you'll find a nice big open area for you to build whatever you like. There's three decks in total, with a workbench located on the bottom deck, so you can give it your own personal touch, and you can even scrap the crew if you just want to be left alone. In the middle of the ship, there's two prison cages to lock up your crew if they question your leadership, along with your very own gorilla, who will keep everybody in check. On the back of the ship is a navigation room. There's a terminal on the desk, which will give you medical records of the crew, and just behind that is the medical wing, which comes with its very own doctor to fix you up. Across from the medical wing is the quartermaster's cabin, which includes a terminal to give you some backstory about the pirate gang and about the ship. Last but not least, you'll find the captain's quarters. This room comes with your very own bed, safe, trunk, bobblehead stand, and key, which can be used to open up the hatch up top. The next deck down, here you'll find the ship's galley, where you can buy food and drinks from your cruise chef. Along the galley you'll find three rooms, that include a dispenser for purified water, a kitchen area with a stove on the wall, and the last room is a terminal, so you can see what your chef is up to. Across from the galley you'll find a fountain on the wall, so you can grab a drink, along with a light switch to control the lights. In the middle of the ship you'll find the recreation area. There's a place for your crew to hang out, along with the terminal to play some games. Lastly in the rear of the ship you'll find the cruise quarters. In the locker on the wall, you'll find the second unique weapon, which goes by the name the Fury. On the bottom most deck, you'll find the toilets, more sleeping quarters for the crew, the ship's guard dog, and the last of the new weapons, which is the Blood Sports Bat. Just outside the crew's living quarters is where you'll find the storage and workshop area. Every workbench you could ever need is here. There's plenty of storage for all your items, craft and supplies scattered throughout, and even two power armor stations in the middle. This is also where you find the new weapons and armor vendors, but they do tend to wander off, so you might have to track them down on a different deck. The last room of the ship contains the workshop, along with the maintenance terminal. This terminal will explain how everything on the ship works, so if you have any questions, make sure to give it a read. Overall, this is definitely one of my favorite player homes that download so far. There really is nothing like it in the base game, and it feels like a real Minuteman stronghold. I've really never been a big fan of the castle, so this is a great alternative for people who feel the same and want a unique place for the Minuteman to call their home. The only real nitpick I have with this mod is that I just wish it could be a full on settlement. While you can build whatever you want inside, you can't send settlers here or set up supply lines to this new location. I know the mod author designed it to be a player home, but it just feels like so much more than that. I'd love to see an option added in the future, to link this up to settlements, to maybe turn that small cabin outside into a full on settlement. If that could be done, I really feel like this would be one of the best settlements in the game. Whichever way this mod goes, the mod author does seem to have some great plans for this mod in the future. According to the mod page, he's planning on adding some future quests, so I can't wait to see where this mod goes. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, let me know what you think about this new player home in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next showcase.